Olympe de Gouche. Olympe de Gouche, or Marie Olympe de Gouche, was born as Marie Gouche on May 7, 1748, in Montauban, France. Her mother was Anne Olympe Mousset Gouche, who was married to Pierre Gouche, a butcher. It is said that her biological father was Jean Jacques the Frank, also known as the Frank, the Marquis of Pompignan. Her family was Petite Bourgeois. At 16 years old, in 1765, she married Louise Yves Aubry. It was an arranged marriage. They had an unhappy marriage. He was a business associate of her father and uncultured. She became Mary Aubry. In 1766, she had a son named Pierre Aubry de Gouche. The river of Montauban flooded and Louis drowned. When he died, Mir changed her name to Olympe de Gouche. She took her mother's middle name and de Gouche, as it sounded more aristocratic. She vowed to never marry again. Then she moved in par to Paris in 1770 with her son and started a theater company. She was literate, but was not well-read. However, she continued to inform herself on intellectual and political topics. She was supported by a wealthy weapons merchant called Jacques Beatrice de Rosier until the family had to decline in resources in 1788. Her plays were mainly about explicit social issues, like enslavement, male-female relations, children's rights, and unemployment. It was criticized and ridiculed by male-dominated literary establishments. Olympe de Gouche was living in Paris at the time of the French Revolution. She soon adopted to the Parisian society and held salons, continued to write plays, poetry, novellas, and pamphlets. She was influenced by the ideas of Rousseau and Montesquieu. She also attended meetings of political clubs, such as Société des Amis de la Constitution, the Jacobin Club during the 1780s. After the storming of the Bastille on July 14, 1789, she became involved in politics. She created many broadsides and pamphlets about topics such as houses of refugee for women and children at risk, tax to educate unemployed people in workshops, legitimation of children born without previous wedding, inheritance equality, legalization of prostitution and divorce, clean streets, professions for everyone without considering race, class, and gender. Moreover, her pamphlets criticized the monarchy and she supported the abolitionist cause. She signed her letters using the words Dogen, the feminine version of the Dogen used during the revolution. Her most famous pamphlet was called La Declaration des Droits de la Femme de la Citoyen, or the Declaration of the Rights of Woman and of the Female Citizen, a statement regarding women's political rights. It was a response to the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen, published in 1789 and adopted by the National Assembly which excluded women. The text demanded rights for the women and feminist topics. She demanded for women to be equal to men and have the same citizenship rights, such as the liberty of opinions and property. As she states in her work, property belongs to both sexes, whether united or separated. In 1789, French women and had domestic duties family obligations, and they couldn't participate in public affairs. Instead, they belonged to the private sphere. Between 1789 and 1793, they were given civil rights and legal identity of their own. She was considered part of the intellectual elite in Paris. De Gouche was knowledgeable about the themes of influential thinkers of her period. Her name is written in the Almanache des Adresses a social registry, often used by members of the royalty and nobility to know who is who. Progressively, her works became more radical, as she refused to stop dealing with the rights of women. She strongly disliked Robespierre and attacked him in an open letter, where she addressed him with two, which is considered to be informal and inappropriate. 
and she supported the Girondists, who advocated for constitutional monarchy and a national referendum to decide the fate of the king. She criticized the Jacobins. In the summer of 1793, the Girondins fell. Afterwards, she was arrested and judged in a mock trial. On November 3, she was guillotined in the Place de la Concorde, Paris, during the Reign of Terror.